coffee. I need more coffee. All right. Please. So we're going to get to see Project Horizon. Yes. And Functioning Sociopaths. Yeah. Functional? Or fun uh, we just looked at it. It's Functional Sociopaths. Yeah, Functional. Functional Sociopaths. Yeah. Functional. functional so we'll sociopaths. see if they're functional today. Map number two. Map number two. Match number two. Ladies and gentlemen, Project Horizon and Functional Sociopaths. And remember, win score five. Yep. Best of three maps. My throat hurts. <laughs> Drink that water. I miss this. <laughs> it's good to be back. It's been fun. So far. But Always is. Always is. Always. Project Horizon, functional sociopaths. Project Horizon, rock and the pest. Croak and Ashka. And uh, Project Horizon is. And then functional sociopaths, they got the, they got the pest. And they got the Jade and the Freya. Freya. So, oh, look at that Scorpion, man. He's already got one. Oh, blanks. Come on, man. Snake. You holding out? Xanox has got one, too. I want one. All right, here oh, we go. Oh, that's going to be the lineup. Ooh. Oh, cluster in the corner here. Hafez get put in the wall out to protect himself. Xanox does get panicked as well. So many panics. Oh. The Pestuli. The Pestuli. <laughs> <laughs> All over the place. And now they actually change... Well, they didn't change positions. They're trying to come back into the middle. Functional sociopaths. So far, pretty even in health. Actually, just about dead even. Now the ultimate comes out, but he gets stunned. A Pestulus getting stunned there. That was Randler. And now they're putting a lot of pressure on Wuzak in the top left, but he's able to get himself out, jump out. He goes camouflage, looking to get that stun off. He's just trying to bait some abilities out of him, maybe. But, oh, we got two and the orb. That's two orbs for Project Horizon. Time's and it's looking like, old. Oh, Oh, Freya! Xanox is struggling. Where'd everybody go? <laughs> Where, where'd they go? Oh, here comes the ultimate out, though, from Croak. That's Wuzak. And a counter from Xanox in the middle of nowhere. And that is not going to get proc, but he wants to keep pressure up. The double petrify coming out from Hot Biscuit, though. And ooh, Xanox could be in some trouble. He's pretty low on health at the moment. He's going to be going up top. Actually gets stunned out by Wuzak. They're trying to get that... Finishing touch on him. Oh, oh the double hit him! Oh, he hits both! Jade goes down! And Xanox <laughs> was able to use the iframes to get himself out. <laughs> Xanox might have iframed, but it still does damage to his teammates. So his teammate just got wrecked. Yep. Oh, he's like, I'm wrecked. saving myself. Oh, man, and Hot Biscuit was on. Oh, you know what the, the fancy version of Hot Biscuit is? What's hot that? Biscotti, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's a Hot Biscotti, dude. <laughs> Hot Biscotti. Uh, hot that, Biscotti. Got a couple of nice ultimates. Nice Ashka ultimates. This is the combo. This is the, the combo right here. Ashka Croak. Mm. Yeah, you can mm. you can get some mm. Mm. Ashka Croak. Juicy combos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What if it said that? Like in the game, like the moment you do something, it's like juicy combos. Yeah, just like the, the thing back in the day, you know, where it was like double kill. Yeah, monster kill. And juicy combos. <laughs> That would be amazing. Please. Can we add that? We'll do, we'll get a little sound bite for ourselves. I'll record it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just we'll just so have we we'll just it. have the guy in our ear just just play it whenever <laughs> yeah. we want it. And here we go. For round number two. Our first map in our best of three. This quarterfinal matchup, Project Horizon, Functional Sociopaths, and uh, Wuzak's looking to get a stun off. Couldn't quite find it. And, oh, Uncle Paul actually just turns on him, gets the Ooh. silence. That burst on Uncle Paul. He will get shielded and healed up a bit. He didn't lose as much max as it looked like. Oh, and he found the invis. Oh, man, this new invisibility thing. This indicator is really doing a number for all these. It's mind gaming. Yeah. With a very interesting mechanic. Ultimate comes out from Uncle Paul. It uh, managed to actually not take too much damage in the process. Take a bit, but now Project Horizon just kind of hanging out over on this left-hand side. Uh, they're separated a bit. Wuzak's looking to create an opening for them. Does get the stun off. Harassing up top. Look at Wuzak go. He's up all alone. Oh, the Ash Goldsmith will sneak Randler, and they actually won't be able to get that orb. He did touch it, but he couldn't get the final touch. It's now increased in health for those of you that haven't watched since the last battle wreck. It's 60 yep. for the orb, not 50. Yeah. Some change arounds a little bit. Uh-oh. Xanox is going to be in some trouble. He was. At least for a moment, but managing to keep himself alive for the time being. Uh-oh. Oh, Hot Biscuit. Hot Biscuit's also in oh. some trouble. Manages to get the orb, though. That'll help him out a little bit. Ultimate's coming from both sides. Uncle Paul using it. Tried to hit the blind shot onto Wuzak, but could not connect. 
And I just hear Pestulous groaning. Oh, there it is! The oh double my ultimate! Goodness. Huh? What is this? Hot Biscotti! Hot Biscotti! Oh, what a fancy man! <laughs> Say hot! Oh my! Oh! See ya! Hot Biscotti. And uh, there goes. Well, there goes the last of them. Oh, Uncle man. Oh, uh, when the Venom explodes, dude. That Venom, man. The Venom plus the Ash Gold, the yep. Fire Venom. How do you yep. deal? How do you deal? You don't. You die. That's you how you die. deal with it. How do you, how do you deal with it? With death. Except, <laughs> except your fate. Just take it. Just deal with it. That was all sorts of sick nasty. All sorts of sick nasty. And now <laughs> Project Horizon's got a two to nothing lead. <laughs> Just the way you said it, like 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 a professional. You know? All sorts of sick nasty. <laughs> now moving forward. This week on Battle Brat. <laughs> Join uh -oh. us for uh -oh. the sick nasty. Blanks is caught in the corner. He puts the queen out. Two queens next to each other. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look at the queens. They're the having queens. fun. That's a queen party. They're <laughs> just all clustered in the bottom. Now a little bit of separation. Oh, Hot Biscuit does land the final fireball. Some ignite and a panic on Uncle Paul's gonna push him out. Who gets the orb? Yeah. Ooh, Project Horizon does. That's who. Uh, Hot Piss gets up top. He's just going to be putting M1s into the back of Uncle Paul, who finally jumps away. And now they're just. They're all posturing. They're all just doing stuff. Here comes the ultimate from Hot Biscuit, though. I think that connected a little bit. And, uh, oh, the both blanks. Both Pestle in trouble. Oh, who's uh -oh. that? Just going to stand in the back. Rambler. Oh, blanks is. Oh, Dire Straits is uh -oh. going to go down. Uh, one from each side, so uh, they, get the, they get the trade off one for one. We're going to be looking 2v2 now. Oh, but one of them has a support on their side. It's actually not going to be too great. There's the ultimate. Oh, can he get him? they got to make this Venom connect. Oh, he landed both them twos as well. Well, now they can turn this around. Randler is a bit hurt at the moment. He's still getting pressured. He's very oh. close to dying. They get the end cap off. They're looking to finish oh, off but he's healing. What? Oh. Just oh. getting out in the pure fire as well. He's going to heal up. This is going to be difficult for Freya. There's an end cap followed by oh, an M2 and it's done. All three fireballs before the counter comes out. This is it for you, Xanox. This is it. This is the end. Boom. You can't get away oh, from the hot biscotti. No, oh, the hot biscotti <laughs> is here to fight. <laughs> hot biscotti. What goes with a hot biscotti? I don't even know. It sounds gross, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I don't really like biscotti anyways. Biscotti's weird. It's like this weird sugary stale bread <laughs> that you're supposed to put in your coffee. <laughs> Or like other weird beverages. I don't get biscotti. Yeah. Maybe it's because I'm a, I'm a filthy American. Yeah, really. I was going to say, I don't know if that's really like an American thing. Yeah, I just don't really know how to use it. Maybe it's because I just don't understand <laughs> biscotti. Like, yeah, it's we, just it's misunderstood by me. Not you know? uh, not in tune with the, with the biscotti it's meta. Tr it's true intentions are not withheld by my eyesight. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand what it's trying to do. It just tastes gross. And it's tough to eat, kind of. But it's fancy, and that's what Hot Biscuit is right now. Yeah, Hot Biscuit. He's playing well. Crushing. Oh, here we go. Project Horizon up 3-0. to zero. So far, just giving it to Functional Sociopaths. Giving them the business. <laughs> oh, the firewall goes out, protects him. Hot Biscuit is just going untouched in the back, but he's got to be careful. Blanks, he has no more queen to help him. And he gets stunned by the shotgun bolt. Oh. This might be it for Blanks. Oh, he's oh. so hurt. Oh. He does get going and infest Hot Biscuit. Oh, just to buy snipe. some time. That snipe oh. was beautiful. Uncle Paul. Oh, baby. Give it to him. Here comes the ultimate out from Hot Biscuit. But it still is a 2v3 in favor of Functional Sociopaths getting the stuns out is Wuzak trying to secure that orb. Functional Sociopaths able to grab it up and now Wuzak is actually in a bit of trouble here. He goes into oh, the Oh no, seat. he missed it! Oh, he doesn't connect! He got stunned out by Uncle Paul with the space bar. The blast vault ended up being his demise and now Hot Biscuit, we've seen the 3v1 but this looks a bit uh, out of your control there, guy. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, that is curtains on that round. Curtains? Curtains. Rip. Three to one. <laughs> Project Horizon. Just <laughs> curtains. Rip. Three to one. Just, just, we're just giving them the abridged cast. You <laughs> yep. Know? Just giving you the important stuff. We just give you the words. Yep. I just want to start shouting. <laughs> I'm not good enough at this. But just shouting like an ability as it gets used. <laughs> Snipe! <laughs> Snipe! Blast fault! Firestorm! <laughs> Queen! Queen! <laughs> that would be the worst. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. <laughs> well, here we go. Wuzak. Wuzak's he's actually, in. He's, he, he does a good job of going in and staying alive. Uh-oh. Oh, he almost he almost walked in front of the stealth. He's just trying to mind game him. Trying to flick around, trying to use that new stealth indicator. Wuzak's going to get pressured. Uh-oh. By Freya. Oh. Now, the snipe looking to come oh. out. Does land it on the hot biscuit. Counter from Xanox. Not going to get procced. Hot biscuit now. He's just putting up his wall. He's going to rain down that right click. And Continuing to apply pressure on a Randler, or he was anyway. Oh, who's that? Zanax. That's a lot of damage. Lined up with the stun as well. Xanax has to be careful when he has the space bar. Hot Biscuit will also sneak that orb with a oh. nice charge M1. Here comes the M2. One, two, almost three on the Uncle Paul, but he will get healed up by Randler. But Xanax, can he get healed up as well? Oh, oh no, the missed ultimate, but it's, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, Xanox so hurt. Does get the shield, stays alive for the time being, but ends up going. Uh oh, down. eat this. Boom! Eat my it! Blanks. Eat it! Uh-oh, Uncle Paul back in the corner. Him and Randler got to do some work if they want to bring this one back. And now Pestulus groaning, using his ultimate, but gets stunned in the middle of it. Does manage to land the last one onto Wuzak, but they, uh, they're they still in a bit of trouble here. Functional sociopaths. Oh, I was going to say they were keeping hope alive for a while, but then Uncle Paul just got wrecked. Good night. Good night, yeah. sweet princess. <laughs> Sweet princess. Oh, Jade went down. See ya. See ya. Well, there it is. I, I actually don't know. Do you know the gender of Pestilus? Is he? <laughs> it, does he have one? I was. I feel like he's just technically thing. he's a giant bug man, but I think he's supposed to be like a prince of some sorts so or I a lord. He's oh, he's a, he's a lord of the swarm. I guess yeah. lord is the male, right? Yeah. Or else it would be like a duchess or whatever. <laughs> yeah. the, or whatever the female <laughs> equivalent. I don't know my. I don't know my, my lord. Yeah, my, yeah. Oh, the lady. Oh, I guess, yeah. It's Lord yeah. and Lady. I'm an idiot. I thought Duchess sounded cooler, though. Yeah, I, I mean, it does. Oh, man. Look <laughs> at what is happening in this corner. It's like oh. a cubby. A cubby of death. The cubby of death. Oh, the snipe will go out, though. Uncle Paul's going to get healed by a burst. Oh, Uncle Paul's taking quite a bit of damage. In no! Early. No! What is this? No! No! What happened? I hope, it was, I hope it was just our side. I think so. Oh, Uncle Paul, though, is still getting the business from Hot Biscuit. They're just laying that pressure. Frey Ultimate coming out. Doesn't connect, but the ultimate from Hot Biscuit, I think, did. And Oh, there it goes Blank. So, Functional Sociopaths with a chance, oh, but the return kill right on Uncle Paul. Uh-oh, someone's lightning. What's happening? What's happening? All we see is Wuzak. Hi, Wuzak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, meanwhile, Xanox. Oh, that's, that's it. Xanox. Oh, the end cap. This stun. I don't know how I Goodbye. feel about that. Xanox broke line of sight from Rainler. He's not going to get much heals from a distance like that. Rainler is accepting it. He the knows. functional sociopaths are now functional dead sociopaths. Yeah, they're not functioning very well today. No, they're not functioning too well. They're struggling. But the TVH. first the first map goes to Project Horizon, ladies and gentlemen. Five rounds to one. Whew, it's pretty dominating. Yeah, that's uh, rough. A little bit rough. Rough. Yeah. A little bit rough. Mm -hmm. Something I did like, though. I like something else from this game, too. Something that they did well, I think, Project Horizon. They didn't bite. Xanox went in. He would go in, use his counter a lot of the time. They were not biting on that counter very often. I mean, no. there was. Uh, they did a really good job of staying disciplined, not hitting it. And uh, and then he would just kind of get caught in after that and, and didn't have yeah. much else to work with. So good discipline there from Project Horizon. See maybe if... Uh, Functional sociopaths, that's their name. See if they make any change ups coming into the second one. In case you're unfamiliar, uh, kind of a new thing, at least to battle wrecked tournaments. We're doing an S draft format, you know, blind picks, they go down, so they'll have a chance to maybe draft up something different this time around. Functional sociopaths, because obviously, whatever they had, not working. You done? Yes. Okay. Thank you. That was like, that was like a rant slash explanation. All right, now I really want to watch it again because I didn't. I didn't know how, how badly they got exploded, but the double ultimate. I want to see. It was the Wuzak Hot Biscuit ultimate. For time of the ultimate. That was awkwardly silent. That was pretty great. Yeah. Like, just, just watch the killing. Just That's, silently watch. <laughs> just watch. In honor. Pe pre press F. <laughs> press press F. F to pay respects. Pay respects. <laughs> but between getting stunned and the damage over time of the Ash mm -hmm. ultimate, which... I don't know if anyone, I guess people kind of recognize it. It's, mm. it's very visually obvious that you probably shouldn't stand in the fiery floor. Yeah. But for those of you that don't know, it does do a significant damage over time if you stand in it. 
yep. for you know any period of time. You want to get out of there. And then at the same time, he was also he had toxic blades. He had toxic on him. The ultimate, waiting for the venom, venom wind to pop. Yeah, that was nuts. Yeah, that was that was some crazy damage. Good yeah. combos. Project Horizon really playing well at the moment. Wuzak and Hot Biscuit have been combining for just sick yeah. combinations, and. Uh, you know, we'll we'll see how that if that change is going into game two. Functional sociopaths down one map. It is a best of three. That so. one map five rounds to one. They only took a single round that last map. And yeah. remember, this is our second quarterfinal of the day. We're only showing two for the constraints of time. Guys, I know you want to see literally everything. So do we. But we all have, you know, a day with only a certain amount of hours. And these players yeah. only have a certain amount of hours. They want to play the game. They want to play their best. So if we drag it on too long. We don't think we'll get the best. So two yeah. quarterfinals go on at the same time. We watch one. Same thing happens on the bottom side of the bracket. So, after this, we'll update you guys on everything going on, on the ones we didn't get to see. We'll see everyone who's made it to the semifinals moving on to the rest of the day. Yep, that's right. So we'll, uh, keep you, we'll keep our ear to the ground here, see what's going on. But, um, you know, team's just setting up at the moment, trying to get into the, uh, into the next match. I mean, is there anything that you personally would like to see different out of, I mean, Functional Sociopaths? I, I don't really know what the key is here for them at this point. I'm I'm liking I, seeing the double pestilus, the pestuli. Lots of yeah, the pestuli. Uh cuz before we went on when, when when we went on our temporary hiatus, mm -hmm. we didn't see a lot of pestilus. There were like a few people. Like, I think Blanks was yeah. the only one that showed like, "Hey, pestilus works. We can yeah. do this." The queen just if it's played right is just so strong and his mm -hmm. burst heal is so great. You just let somebody jump in, they can take a little bit of hit. And you just burst heal them for like 30. It's nuts. Yeah. So being able to pull that off, is it 30? Or is it 15? Uh, oh, I'm forgetting now. Good Whoa, I had it in my head. I just forgot it. Ugh. One of those. Whatever. It's, I think it's a good burst. Yeah, I think it can it can do quite a bit, regardless. Yeah. So, uh, that I mean, they also have options of I mean, if they want to change up Pestilus, maybe. Uh, obviously, Old Doors have been pretty popular as of late. Lucy's making the comeback yeah. here. Oh, we haven't seen any Old uh, Doors today, surprisingly. Yeah, actually, yeah, I don't know if he's like kind of getting phased out after this new, after the new patches, because the last patch, just before this last one, he was pretty popular. Yeah, he was, he was probably the most used support, I'd say. I'm actually surprised to see Pestilus because he just got ticked down a little bit. Yeah, a couple of his heals and a little bit of his damage just got brought down a little bit to make him more reasonable. Yeah. I mean, the the struggle that is with supports is that you need to make them reliable as an individual, mm -hmm. that they're not just totally useless if they're not just healing. Right. But you also need to make sure they can heal. So finding that middle ground where their heals are worth it and their damage is worth it, and you don't feel like a useless piece of crap just sitting there like, <laughs> what do I do? What am I doing? Uh, and that's a really hard balance. Uh, I think uh, Asel's mm -hmm. doing a fantastic job of trying to find it and tweak just a little bit. Yeah. Even just a few a few hits, you know? Yeah. It's getting better and better. Yeah. You know, it's doing great. So it's it's good now that now that the changes have been made. I think there is a lot of room for uh, variance in what supports you're running. So it, it's good. I mean, we saw Sirius already today. We saw some Paloma. Uh, I, I saw Arakune was was in someone's chat yesterday. He thinks the next big comp is going to be. I think it's Esmo Shifu Sirius. Hmm. Thinks that's going to be one of the one of the next big comps. Which I mean, sounds pretty sounds pretty good in theory. Because I mean, Shifu now is obviously yeah. much better. He's probably the main melee, or, you know, one of them. Should be Baco, but I understand. Yeah, he's just a filthy Baco main. Just let him do his thing. So you got that. You got the Esmo who can just lay out some mean damage. Yeah. And what was the last one that I didn't mention, Sirius? Yeah, Sirius. <laughs> you will be it. all over him. You subconsciously knew it. Yeah. I, I mean, I forget what I'm doing. So the thing is, too, remember, though, like that team particularly – likes to just go in and then they just like don't yep. bail right i mean so that's what that team comp is you just go in yep. you go in and you protect each other while you're at it but i mean serious shifu was one that him and ninjas have been mastering over yep. the last several months for a long time actually it's a great combo yeah i mean but it's really just shifu puts enough pressure to force mobility to be used and then serious just comes on in he space bars in whoosh, <laughs> give him a slap and <laughs> give him all whoosh. they're weakened crazy yeah. burst damage and then just they can just alter their pressure enough to where there's nothing you can do. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a good combo. So we'll we'll see. We uh, we'll see if functional sociopaths. I don't know why I have so much trouble saying that name. See if they make any changes. Because and it, it looks like they did. Because it rings too true in your heart. <laughs> That's right. It hits deep. It's deep. They are going to change up the uh, the pestilus though on the side of functional sociopaths. And they'll be using a Lucy. I almost what? yelled. What? I've been trying to do better. Why? What happened, Randler? Randler, come back. Randler, please. Randler, come back to me. Rondler, 
R- Rondler. Rondler, please. <laughs> Rondler, please. <laughs> Rondler, please, come back. Ah, he's connected. Thank you, system chair. Uh, so, now we have nice barriers, petrifies, and panics. Now, Xanox Uncle Paul going to be... Uh, Gonna be looking to lay down that infamous oh, Jade that... Croak combo. Yeah. So we have Jade Croak, Jade Ashka. This is where we get to see which one is better. Who's got the better combos? That's what we're looking at today. Both are pretty good now. Yep. Jade, for those of you that have never played her, it is a lot more difficult to land a snipe than it seems like when you're going against one. Yeah. When you're going against one, you're like, oh my god. Snipe, snipe, snipe. She can just hit me from so far. But it's way more difficult when you're actually behind her, especially going against top tier players. So. Using Croak to solidify those snipes to make it real easy. You just kind of poster them up. You're not going anywhere. That's right. Set that shot up and lay the hurt. Feed them the bullets. Here it goes, though. Project Horizon up one map to zero. And yet again, we're kind of aiming towards this, uh, this cubby of death scenario. But now they're starting to work their way back into the middle. First orb going over to Functional Sociopath. So a good start for them. Already applying that pressure onto blanks. They did get the oh. barriers, Xanox did. There's the burst. The Deceit is out in a well-timed panic. Blanks forced Xanox to not be able to pull off the Deceit. And now oh. here comes the cut, cut, cut. But the space bar was a little uh -oh. bit late. Oh, I think that did connect a bit. Here comes that ultimate from Hot Biscuit. If nothing else, he used it just to get back into the middle and meet up with the rest of his team. I don't think it really hit anybody necessarily. But so far, they've done a, a pretty decent job. They, they chunked down Blanks a little bit initially. I thought there was an opportunity for a little more, but... Uh, the health fairly even at the moment. Clarity Potion was actually just used to get the Scarab off. I would have liked to see if Crook could have capitalized on that instead and gone for Jade. And that orb again is going to get taken by Functional Sociopath. That's two orbs to one. Now, just sitting back in the corner, it's Functional Sociopath. Xanox trying to open things up a bit. The Venom is going to come out. Not sure if that actually did the damage to Xanox or not, but another orb is up now. Uncle Paul is going to land on it, and uh, Functional Sociopaths again going to get that orb as they're playing some pressure onto Wuzak, but he'll manage to get himself out. Kind of a slowish play so far from these teams. No kills as of yet, but just as I say, the goo comes out, but the infest coming in from Blanks to get himself out of the goo. Well done. Make sure he didn't take too much damage from that. I don't think he lost any max from that. Oh, and there it is. Hot Biscuit again securing the orb using his ultimate. Not a bad idea to give everybody more effective health. And now Uncle Paul's got to be careful. He does get his silence off. Some nice drafting as well. Oh, well, now the snipe. Oh, looking to line up, but actually canceled it to try and try and bait something out. Maybe just hang on to it. But barrier is going to be used on the side of Functional Sociopaths. It is into overtime now, so that arena is going to start closing. Still no kills as of yet. Ultimate coming out from Blanks. And uh oh, here comes the ultimate now from Jade. Uncle Paul laying in some damage, but he's really hurt. It's going to end up going down. Oh. Xanox is oh, really low on health as well. It's a 2v2. Oh, and that Randler's going to have a little bit of protection, but no more. Already knows oh, it. Oh, man. Burst it down. Oh, it's the one fear of Lucy ever using an ultimate when everyone's paying attention. Oh, he couldn't flick over. Cut, cut, dead. Cut, cut, dead. Oh. Later. I don't know how I feel about him using that ultimate. He couldn't capitalize on it. It doesn't take down the orb. He didn't get Peshless in it. And then he had no more energy. He couldn't roll. He couldn't do anything. So that's when they were able to just mm -hmm. give him. They got a, a, uh, I think it was a Bloodsucker from Peshless as well as an ultimate from Muzak. And then it was, uh, that was it from there. I mean, overall, I feel a, a pretty well played round from Functional Sociopaths. Just a couple of mistakes there at the end. Yeah, I like the idea. I mean, he definitely wanted to push people out to the outer ring. Hopefully, maybe they can do a little bit of damage from there. It, it took up so much in that last ring, but again, with a croak that just so sneaky, so quick around the field. Now, a one to nothing in map number two for Project Horizon. Functional sociopaths have the center control at the moment, but well, as I say that, Wuzak is was actually sneaking around doing the sneaky sneak up top. First orb goes to Project Horizon. Of this round, at least. Oh, the stun's out onto Wuzak. They'll chunk him down just a bit. There's so far, not a whole lot. Xanox just trying to keep some pressure on the Blanks, maybe. The Blanks has done a pretty good job throughout this entire series of just being able to stay alive, keeping himself sustained. But 
another orb is up and functional sociopath's going to get that one the ultimate comes through from hot biscuit but oh there's a lot of damage down there in that bottom right corner blanks has actually taken a whole lot of it and he's getting pressured by uncle paul at the moment oh the panic didn't quite connect on him deceit is out he's looking to get that in cap does manage to land it then the stun but there's not a whole lot of follow-up Everyone the just the trading so far. Oh, that is Snipe will actually land on Hot Biscuit, who did come just to save Blanks. Previous to Buzak. Gonna try and get some damage on Uncle Paul, but nothing will be permanent, and that orb will get snuck out wow. by functional sociopaths. Pretty even in health pools, 47 to 40 percent. The ultimate now coming out from Blanks. Doesn't really connect with much, but oh, that ultimate from Hot Biscuit is going to land on a Randler who's really hurt pressure by Woozak. He's down. And now 2v3. Oh. Gotta get this. Oh, the combos. Oh, they can they can bring uh maybe. No, never mind. Thought maybe for a second. But uh, it was really unfortunate for functional sociopaths, because at one point in time, kind of early-ish in the round, maybe midway through, Blanks got really low on health at one point. Uh, he actually got chunked down quite a bit. They had the opportunity to finish him. They went all the way back to spawn. Really, they got pushed that far back, but they couldn't finish off Blanks. Blanks does a good job of waiting for cooldowns until he puts the queen out. A lot of Pestilus, yeah. they panic, and they put the queen out because they're like, I don't want to die, I don't want to take too much max health. But he understands if he puts the queen out too soon, he'll just shred through it yeah. or just walk around it. He waits for the cooldowns. He takes a bit of damage, then he puts the queen up, and then he realizes he's pretty safe, and then from then, it was Hot Biscuit's chance to come back and help protect him. Now, two to nothing in this next round, or in this second map, Project Horizon. Orb, oh, actually gets taken away by Project Horizon. A functional sociopath did the bulk of the damage, but Project Horizon getting the snipe on it. And uh, Barrier is going to be used by Randler on himself, and he wasn't really all that much pressured. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them as Xanox currently. Xanox and Uncle Paul are both trying to keep keep on Hot Biscuit's tail. That Venom is going to land on oh. two people. Xanox is going to get hit by it. Randler was man managed to stave it off, but he's just taking so much damage right now. He's just getting M1 down, and there he goes. 1v3. Oh, Uncle Paul! Uncle Paul got melted in that yeah, in that yeah. mess of that. He tried to he tried to blast vault out. He did he did build the blast vault cloak battle right, but it doesn't matter. Dude got wrecked. Don't matter. I think, I think the final blow actually he was in viz and Peshtels hit him with an M2 and shredded. So here it is. Sharded, yes. <laughs> with a, it's with a D. Sorry. <laughs> I was saying shredded, and I was just reversing some of the words, the letters, shredded. and then I realized it sounds really bad. Yeah. yeah. I gotta be careful. It's with a D. With a D, folks. With a D. Well, functional sociopaths, not uh, not quite up to full function. Uncle Paul was going <laughs> for the blind <laughs> snipe, and there was no one home. He just went all for Randler. <laughs> that was oh, great. Ooh, nice panic. Double panic barrier is going to be used <gasps> as well on the side of functional sociopaths. Well timed. Hot Biscuit really escaping. Not a lot of max health damage. He'll have 92%. They will get a little bit on Blanks here, but he doesn't feel too pressured. There it is. Xanox does land his pace bar. Blanks is in trouble. Yeah, he has nothing left there. Oh, what a nice infest. Infest, that's good. Bought himself so much time. Bought some space. Able to get himself out. I wonder if they organize that. So many times Hot Biscuit is just the oh. vessel of escape for Blanks. Uh, and it's it's been a lot of Blanks' sustain. And the reason why he's been able to stay alive so long. Oh. Of course, of ultimates being used and all. A whole lot of damage being dealt, but the health advantage certainly in favor of functional sociopaths at the moment, at least by a little bit. And they have some guys that are pretty low. If they can finish off blanks, they should be able to get this round, I feel. There's some pretty decent combos coming out with the stuns and incaps, but uh oh. Oh no! Xanox! Wuzak and Xanox went for the one of us is gonna die. I don't care who it is. We're just gonna fight to the death. No one's backing up. But so low! The blind one of them gets hit, but she oh, will get incapped! Oh, the Venom, though, is down. That was a great barrier from Randler. Kept Uncle Paul alive. The stuns, the Oh, jump down! What? Oh, see ya. Oh, and now we're down is, to 1v1. This is, oh. Randler's got to go big here. Going to mount up and try and collect up some of these little candies, get some greens this as well. The, this is the battle right I know and love. Uh oh. Oh, he oh. knew it! Wow! What? The steal! He uses barrier, too, and that wall is going to come up. Has to use roll. Oh, rolls out. He doesn't have much else for the time being. He's he's, really oh, God, be look careful. at the fear. He has no idea where he is. Oh, he just picked it. Oh, he's trying oh. to protect the greens. 
Hopisk is gonna grab those as well. Nearly back to full health. This can still be done by Randler though. A well-timed panic towards the end. He's just buying time till the very end. Trying, yep. Oh, nice petrify. He's gonna. Petrify. Oh, securing an orb. This is gonna be great. Ooh, it was tight, but he managed to get it. Firewall's gonna come down. Oh, he has the barrier. He's gonna have to use it. Oh, Hot Biscuit's got his ultimate at the ready. Oh, Does it land the panic? panic? Uh, oh, getting the deadly inject out. He's getting Here run at at the moment. Here's he needs the to ult. get these greens. Oh, oh and Randler doesn't have goo either. If he could have goo ready. There's the oh, panic. The stun. Oh, he did hit that panic. Well done. I don't know if he actually got any damage hit. The clarity potion is going to knock him back out. Get some deadly inject. He's the damage on the orb. Through. Oh, the orb. Oh, the petrify will actually secure the orb. He's going to get. Oh, oh, this one. Oh, the swift roll. Dodging all of them. The oh, firewall. The, the panic gets eaten up by the firewall. Oh, he's still hanging in there, getting deadly injects. Can he do it? Use barrier using pure fire is oh! hot biscuit knocking him out. Randler is still in it. He's so it. hurt. Oh, oh my heart. Oh god. <laughs> Randler. Oh, so well played. I would have thought that was going to be the end, but I cannot believe he was able to pull it out. Oh, hot biscuit securing around four in a row. Oh man. Project Horizon. Look at the damage from hot biscuit. To be fair, he was alive the longest. Well, yeah. But yeah, that's Still. a lot of damage. That's insane. Well, that is, uh, and the protection from Randler. My god. My god. The healing. Well, it is now match point for Project Horizon. They, uh, they gotta do it right here and right now. Functional sociopaths, at least. They, they need to, they need to do the thing because if they don't, they're done. Do the thing. Do the thing. Xanox is just going all in right now. Him and Wuzak are trying to figure out how to break into the back line. But you see camouflage out. Xanox jumping perfectly. He knows how Krogs played. He's like, I'm doing it too. Oh, that orb will actually get taken by Project Horizon. Snuck it through the Jade Snipe. Where is he? There he is. There he is. Coming in hot is Wuzak. And Xanox trying to keep pressure on the uh, on the Petulus up there, doing a lot of good damage to Blanks, who goes for the infest to keep himself alive. But now ultimate comes through from Hot Biscuit, and all the way in the back here, Blanks is by himself getting run at by Xanox, and he lands the panic. Very well done. Blanks is in full control of this. He will use some energy for Swarm. Did not want to use his ultimate. Xanox takes a good chunk of damage as well, but the shield. From Jade's Veil. Oh, and another orb for Project Horizon. They just keep sneaking them, giving them the resource advantage. Oh, Venom is going to land. He's got to hit this stun. Oh, Blanks was able to negate the damage. That would have been so good. Xanox couldn't quite get there to get the stun off in time to land the damage. And now Wuzak is in a bit of trouble here. He's really hurt. He's getting the heals from Blanks, but ends up going down. Now they got the one oh. player advantage. He's just going and he did force the jump. Hot Biscuit. You also got a blind M1 on Uncle Paul, and there it is! Ooh. The 2v2, the ultimate, the pure fire as well is going to heal him up. The Blanks goo. is stuck in there, and the root as well. Snapshot, well timed by Uncle Paul. Blanks oh, man. needs to get body blocked by Hot Biscuit. Oh. Oh. Hot Two. Biscuit's still got a lot of health left. Oh, he does. He's got them all. Oh, and he, he sniped her right off of that. He's trying to find her. Oh, and a well. Oh, my God. He knows exactly where he is. Oh, Blanks, they, they want to hunt body down. Body block him. Here. Oh, the infest. He's still alive. They use all oh, oh, my God. God, what was that? Oh, he infested. He used ult. He was able to get out. He's collecting up the greens. That was beautiful. Oh, Hot Biscuit. Oh, no, he missed the E. Don't get panicked by Randler. Randler might go down here. He what? does. Blank stays alive, and they pull it off. What a turnaround. Oh, my God. They're just too They're good. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. Oh. Project Horizon moving on. I thought they were dead meat on that round. They're too good. Project Horizon. It was insane. Insane. Oh, five. It was first five rounds to one. And then they're like, can we improve? Yeah, we can. Five rounds to zero. A full sweep in map number two. They Easy. will move on to our semifinals. That's right. Congratulations to Project Horizon.